Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. I got it right this time. My dear friends, it's Gord, you're hurting hippie. Happy Monday before Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. Mondays? You celebrate Mondays? I don't. <laughs> no, friends, happy whatever you celebrate, but from me to you, Merry Christmas. And it's a Christmas themed one today. Ooh, okay. Uh, we are talking about Christmas. I want to know, are you ready? Maybe I want to know in the comments, what's your best Christmas story? What's your best feeling you got at the Christmas time? Uh, I have a lot of stories. I have shared a lot of stories, but I would really like to know some of yours. That's how we get to know each other. I also want to thank so many of you for the great response to yesterday's video, which I will put up right there because it was a good video. It was a hard video. It's I took hours on that one. A lot of fun little editing tricks, but also just getting in touch with all of you all after taking a few days off to try and catch up. Again, my videos might be sparse this week. There is Christmas Day. I will do a Christmas video. I will do a, a, a showing of everything we did. And you're probably wondering, am I ready? <laughs> quick answer no I said I was ready a couple of days ago but that's because I was ready up to that point and I'm starting to fall a little behind today I feel really overwhelmed today so I want to reach out to all of you and just say you know what feeling overwhelmed is normal at Christmas Ignore your media that, uh, oh, it's a worse Christmas than ever. It's probably the best Christmas ever. We are a happy world. We are a happy people. Every indicator of life is up, not down. And yet, all you get from your media is negative stories. It's time for us to shut that off and just entertain ourselves with videos like this with videos like National Geographic, like Joe Rogan Experience, things that enrich us, that enable our brain to take that next step into growing and maturing ourselves while not falling for the trickery of our media and our social media apps. There is a built-in need to create a an addiction on our part to these likes to these comments to these hearts to all that stuff it's all meant to enslave us to keep us down at a time when things are great if things were not great they would not be pushing the negative so hard and yes here in is where your conspiracy hippie lays. This is one piece that I've always and strongly believed in, that there is an overlaying design by all governments, and they're all somewhat tied together in trying very hard to not let us understand how truly free and wonderful life is. If we truly knew, we would start wondering why we have such big government, why we have so many rules when the rules only really apply to a few. We would slowly get rid of our governments if we were not kept the way we are. We truly are kept this way. I watch my friends and I beg them to, to try to reverse the media curse 
I, I like that one. Reverse that media curse. And how do you do it? If you're looking at your phone, let me just look at my Google News. Yeah, see, the first thing is a just fun thing. Google Photos receiving an awesome new feature. But, Right away, Jim Jordan's hometown newspaper called him a legislative something or other, and it's got this sign, Political Tribune. It's trying to get us upset over the over the uh, impeachment. Uh, Calgary police uh, charging a woman seen abusing children. Ben Shapiro and House Democrats, you know, everything here is trying to get you to, oh, no. And then you read it, and then you get upset, and then you start falling into that rabbit hole of despair. When, had I clicked on the Google Photos, and I did, there's a new feature coming up, that could lead me somewhere else. So there's two ways to reverse the media curse, and the first one is, Oh, let's make it three. First one, don't look at your media. Get out, go for a walk, be with nature, be with family, be with friends. That's number one. Number two, if you do look at media, ignore the clickbaity items, only look for those stories that are positive. If we, if they get the only views then maybe maybe our media will stop listening to the government start listening to the people and start delivering what we want which is positive news and the third way is if you do find yourself in the rabbit hole and you're for instance what was going around a couple of months ago the amazon is burning Okay, you take that, that's the title, that was the clickbaity title, but I went and searched Google, the Amazon is not burning. Take the clickbaity title that's got you nervous, got you upset, got you worried, reverse it. These came back from a search. Hey, Google isn't even supposed to be talking to me. Jeez, I'll cut that out. So, reverse it and then search it and you find the other side that is not being told to you the only side that makes it to the level of of titles in your news or stuff that is delivered to you is the stuff that will get you so do the opposite i did that during the amazon scare and I warned a few people that were so upset. Oh my God, the Amazon is burning, and they're telling us that's thirty percent of the air of the oxygen in the earth. And so I searched the opposite and found immediately that the Amazon only makes up nine percent of the oxygen in the earth. That the fires are normal there and happen every year, a little heavier a year than last year, but not much. Just they had one huge wildfire, but that is normal every couple of years. That happens too. And the percent of oxygen used by the Amazon or, or d produced by the Amazon was not being negatively impacted because a fire creates new growth, which creates new oxygen. And let's take it even further, even if the uh, the forest started to disappear for all the agriculture that's starting in the amazon agriculture produces more oxygen than the trees do so don't let them scare you they're starting to tell you australia is on fire now too but they forget to tell you that hey they're having 114 degree temperature and it's the middle of summer in australia and they have bushfires and wildfires all the time we all do why don't they report on what's going good in the summer there why don't they report on the rebuilding of the reefs and stuff like that so that's my point friends is we've got to reverse that curse we've got to take the media at 
their words and start even fighting back. Why this clickbaity title when there is all this information that says no? Or just let it be and realize you won. You didn't let them win. You reverse the curse. Now you take it to your friends and you say, you know what? It's not so bad. I had a friend report the other day in their social media that capitalism has indeed ruined their life. And I thought, wow, wow, really? Let's break that down a bit. You're reporting this on a phone that capitalism brought to you, that the free market brought to you. You are complaining on the internet, which was developed by the free market, by capitalism. Capitalism got you the job that you're working. Capitalism will get the next job that you're working. Socialism, yeah, sure, maybe you'd be working and never have to worry about a paycheck again, but the paychecks would be small. You'd only get what you normally get. Your government and your country will slowly fall apart like Venezuela. Let's be real, folks. Let There's a good discussion to be had, right versus left. There is so much power in the left, so much love, so much energy, so much wanting for the people. There is so much power in the right. I'm doing opposite arms. Let's ignore that. There is so much power in the right in evolving us beyond our own selves and into this world where we're fixing pollution, where we're fixing the oceans, where we are learning better ways to live with our animals, where we're learning better ways to create agricultural, positive carbon environments, that kind of thing. Both are needed. The right and the left are both needed. This is why I'm a centrist. This is why I'm in the middle. I enjoy both. They both have such beautiful things, and we don't need to get rid of either. We need to embrace our opposites and learn from them, and maybe slowly we'll all come a little bit into the center. But diversity of thought is so much more important than diversity of color, my friends. And we're at the end of my rant. Let's bring it to Yeah. Little known facts this time. Christmas edition. I've got a few for you. We're going to share a little more than usual because it's Christmas. Scientists figured out that for Santa to deliver all the world's gifts on Christmas Eve, he would need to visit 822 homes every second, traveling at 650 miles per second, or 2,340,000 miles per hour. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. But on this, Pasha, Santa exists. Now, the next one. For 13 years, between 1647 and 1660, Christmas was banned in the UK by Cromwell after the English Civil War. Here's a cool one. Our needly favorite, the Christmas tree, and we're talking about real ones, not fake ones, doesn't need to be thrown away every year. Some parts are edible, including the needles themselves, which are a great source for vitamin C. Just put those needles into water, boil them up, and make a tea. The holly inside a wreath actually represents Jesus' crown, and the red berries represent his blood. And number five, because I haven't got a lot of these. In the year 2015, the world's first Christmas card commissioned by Sir Henry Cole in 1843 sold for 
$1,513. The hand-colored card pictured a family drinking wine. A $10,000 Christmas card. Amazing, friends. That's what we share. We share fun. We share good facts. We share figures. We share knowledge. But we don't share despair and sadness. Oh, we are a medical place. We are, as Sikhs said, we are a channel of group therapy. We help each other. But we do it in a positive way. YouTube is changing where negative comments may never be allowed again. I don't really care. I've almost never had them on this channel. And that's because all of you rock. My friends, peace and cheers, love and harmony. We will catch you on the other side. Merry freaking Christmas.